Hi guys, Mr. Jaeger here, and welcome to a game known as Between the Stars. And Between the Stars is a... The best way I could describe it is a ship... Like, it's an RPG slash ship flying... Uh, it's like Fractured Space, only a single player Fractured Space with D&D &D elements. And an RPG along the sides. Um, I have to admit, I've not played many sci-fi games, but this game caught my attention uh, for a few variety of reasons. The first, of course, is this demo. Yes, this is a demo. The game isn't even out yet. It's due to release on the 28th of May. But this game has already, like, majorly attracted me to it because it is doing a demo and it's doing the humble route, which I am very, very impressed with. You know, I mean, it's not often that many games out there will say, hey guys, this is a game we're making, we're having a lot of fun with, you know, we're, we're doing this as a profit thing, you know, we're, we're making this game because it's our passion, but please try a demo out before you buy it because we don't, you know, we want to know, you know, any feedback or anything like that. And I like that because it just, it's rare nowadays to see a demo, let alone a demo that says, look, this game isn't perfect, that this game isn't finalized, by the way. As said, this game is out on the 28th of May, so not everything you see here is guaranteed to be the final resolutionary project. Um, but, what they're doing so far is really awesome, and what we can currently play at this moment is a prologue, and I've just done a little bit of a, a tiny, um, sort of, I, I dabbled in it a little bit just to make sure everything was smooth for recording's sake, but no, this game is uh, looking very, very interesting. Graphically wise, It's I quite like it, and the other element that I like is that there's a D&D style element to it. So unlike most sort of uh, RPGs where you collect a sort of thing and you get a higher ranking crew or whatever, instead of just relying on percentages and saying, okay, your level 10 crew uh, can do a level 9 mission without any problems, it actually has a moment where you roll dice in it. And it can either go really good or really bad, depending on your dice roll. And I like that. I really do like that element of luck in games. So anyway, um, <clears throat> enough talking about this game. Well in the menu at least. Let's try the pro-, pro if I can speak English, let's try the prologue. <laughs> yeah, medals and awards. Are, are they kind of signed to prove These provide professor perks. So long as the crew remains alive. GG. Universe, and Scott. Now the bear um, story seems to be that you are part of an alliance of sorts. So you know, if you're a World of Warcraft player or a Republican defender, oh no, it's Alliance. Republic, sorry. If you are, well, you could call the Alliance of Republic, you know, if you want to be a bit weird like that. But if you wanted to, uh... yeah, I'm just gonna pause recording. <coughs> <coughs> oh dear. Some of these things ships do look pretty nice, though. Alert! Systems damaged. Warp drive pressure increasing. Crew, boost warp drive to full power! But Captain... I said full power! That's an order! Redistributing power. Capacitors charging in four, three... Whoa. Just a bit more! Ba boom Warp successful. We've Ooh. made it. Nice. Already my ship is slightly damaged. This is hilarious. My damage analysis. Starting damage assessment protocol. Testing main engines. Moderate damage. Engines operational. Testing navigation systems. So, instead of using the normal keys, you actually use your um you use your mouse to basically look around as it says here around here and also you have a sort of a forward and back with your scroll which is brilliant which i, I kind of like because then this particularly frees up your ability to maneuver in space like so and also the little details like the whole boosters thing that, that that's nice and of course <laughs> navigation systems operational testing power systems Right. And then the arrow keys, as you can see, on the bottom right of your screen, represent, like, either um, weapons to either shields, engines, or whatever. Power distribution, correct. Captain, we're detecting warp signatures in the vicinity. We've been followed. Prepare for attack. 
Oh, there we are. Oh. Right, let's increase our... Our shields are taking a massive punting. Side on, side on, side on. We have lost the shield! Right, we gotta try and keep this thing as healthy as possible. Eh, come on, come on, come on. The awesome thing about the uh, different power um, distribution is that you can actually tell the difference in terms of rate of fire. Like if I do now, this is on maximum, so maximum rate of fire, maximum damage and all that jazz. You go down a bit and you can see or hear the level of um, um, you can actually see the, um, well, the, notice the difference in terms of damage as well as other variants as well, which I like, I like a lot. Right, let's try and get the critical points of the ship to try and do as much damage as we can. Shit. Right, so shields are up a low, but I think we can hold on to them. Right, and nice old burst. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ow, oh, for the love of God and all that's holy. Yes! Right, he actually ram killed his friend. Nice. Nice. And whilst you're destroying what's left of your friend, let's just finish the job, shall we? I like the graphics in this particular game. It's a lot of... It's smooth and quite nice as a sort of in... Not exactly the world's best shot, I'll agree. A couple of complaints i found is that... One of some... our shields has fallen! Yeah, like, for some reason, despite me clearly taking shots on the shield on the side, apparently it still, for some reason, counts it as a frontal hit. Probably something that could be balanced out in the future, or, you know, patched out or whatever. Oh. Oh, we need to, yeah. Right. Eep, 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 come on. Oh. God damn it, stop hitting my hole! You're hitting the sides! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. God damn it. Right, you're dead. Fuck you. Okay, what's this weapon number two? Because I've never actually tried this. Oh, I got a missile. Nice. I wonder if that is what I think it is. Oh, look, you can see the distance. My missile. It's being tracked. Oh, nice. It is. Nice. Right, keep targeting. Keep targeting. Oh, you have different weak zones. Oh! <laughs> oh, you got a nuke. <laughs> we have lost the shield. Yep, I am well aware. Okay, so there's weak points in this now. That's Captain, cool. Captain, reinforcements incoming. We oh. need more firepower. Yeah, I'm well aware. Right, so as it, it as you can see, you can actually do a lot of damage to some ships if you hit certain structural integrity points. And it looks like the more you shoot at them... Yep. The more you shoot at them, the faster you can kill them. Which is pretty dope. Right. Let's, uh, pop a few shots in your direction. So where are you? You're really weak at the front. Okay. Okay. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Beautiful. 
Oh, oh shit. Yeah, no, we got one more. One more inbound, and then we're good. Then we're good. Okay. What's your weakness, little lad? Oh, he's at the stern. Okay, let's uh, let's get a missile launch on you. Yes! That is satisfying. Objectives neutralized. Boom. Good work, team. Is everyone all right? Probably. Captain, I've determined this news will cause a decline in crew morale of 64.7%. But I must inform you that the enemy bypassed our shields. Two casualties confirmed. Okay, so you can salvage enemy ships whilst you're doing that, which is very nice, not gonna lie. System analysis. Critical. Repairs needed immediately. All right. Mai, what's our current position? We are currently in the Thamus 6 sector. It is on the outskirts of the Interstellar Republic's headquarters. We should be able to reach it using our drive engines. Preparing warp drive. All right, cool. So this is the galaxy that we can utilize. Obviously not all of it is available at this moment, but as you can see, it is uh, it's quite big actually, considering. And then this is only the first iteration, so we don't know what kind of content will be coming in later on. But that said, pretty dope. Right, so we need to go to the Tacit Stellar Sector, which is there. Woo! Warp drive engines damaged. Oh dear. Jump impossible. Well, yeah, probably because Ugh. half of the engines are all gone. My. Which is the closest space station in this sector? It's the trade station and Terra's port. Okay. Set in the coordinates. Coordinates set. Uh, right. So there's apparently a coordinates that we need to keep an eye on. Ah, there they are. Cool. Let's uh, prepare the ship. Actually, before we do anything, let's just have a look at our ship. Um, oh, probably not a good idea. This is actually quite a nice looking ship, not going to lie. Um, it kind of reminds me of the Hammerhead a bit. At the, I mean, maybe, yeah, like a little bit like, um, it's a mix between a Hammerhead and an Imperial Star Destroyer. Um, mainly because, you know, they, it's mainly the big sort of giant sort of middle, well, shot in the head in the front, in the front section, I mean. Right, let's, uh... Now, truth be told, I haven't actually gone beyond this particular point. So, here we go. This is a mostly blind playthrough, but I thought it would be kind of cool. My situation report on Antero's port. Accessing database. Oh, that's cool. This station serves as a crucial hub for business tycoons and mining sector speculators. It has a large port specialized Ooh. for trade freighters that return full of materials from mining settlements. They also swear they have the best beet soup recipe in the universe. <laughs> right, let's uh, let's slow it down a bit. Slow it down, slow it down. Okay, here we go. So here we go to our first station, and hopefully we can get ourselves fixed up in. Well, truth be told, damage like this to the superstructure with one engine going kaputski. Yeah, I don't think it would take more than I think it would take more than five seconds. But you know what? Sure. Sure. Anyway, so... Let's see how we go. Actually, probably not a good idea. It's <laughs> like, just slingshots ourselves into the fucking ship, you know. Well, guys, that was a great gameplay. Let's just get destroyed at this point. Ooh, okay, Dock 16. I like how we already already have permission to dock, and that Dock 16 just ha so happened. Captain Scott could... from the 5th Republic Fleet here. We request docking permission. Station control tower here. Dock at the assigned bay. Over. Right, Receiving okay. coordinates. Establishing communication. Docking protocol prepared. Okay. So we have to dock. Oh, this is cool. So, again, another cool feature is that... Uh, literally... Okay. Oh, this is nice. Once you, I mean, once you, I mean, the thing is, it takes a bit of getting used to, but once uh, we, you know, once you get into the, the habit of uh, playing this particular game and learning the particular kinks of your ships, which I assume you get more than just this type, because there's all of these really nicely, uh, very good versions of this. Right. Wait a few seconds to confirm the docking. Oh, and actually... 
Okay, so it doesn't require you to completely... Okay. Oh, and apparently I was upside down the whole time. Nice. Nice. Access points... Uh, <sighs> selectable box. Oh, so you can actually select the uh, the docks and whatever. And then you can hit the right button. To, oh, that's cool! So you can actually see the docks and everything that's inside. That's actually pretty dope. Truth be told, this kind of reminds me of Star Citizen. Uh, also, the concept of Star Citizen, which is a game I want to get into, believe you me. Uh, well, it's a game that I want to sort of have the ability to, well, get starting to get into. I, I made a couple of videos um, back in the day, but like, unfortunately, because my computer isn't super, super high quality... Um, it's a bit difficult to record certain uh, iterations without a game lagging to shit. So we need to go right click and whatever. So go to the docks. Yay! I hit the right button. Right, so unfortunately we did lose a couple of people. Uh... Oh yeah, so th this is the sort of the D&D slash role playing ele element um, towards the thing. So it's like you discover a great commotion around the freighters that are on your exit your ship. You hit shouts from all angles, merchants bidding of ever increasing numbers on merchandise. Uh, behind and repair workshop. You find yourself looking at neon lights when someone bumps in your shoulder. Looks down. Have you found a ground Look at that Little error thing, nice. Uh I'm out to hurt scruff on your moments to get to spines of botanics objects. Uh So yeah, you can sort of select what kind of thing you wanted to have. So actually, we were just looking for a repair shop for our ship. Uh, walk together to clear where your ship was located previously. No way, a KP564 says three warship totaled. How did you manage to? Uh, oh, or maybe I should give like a tracer sort of accent. All right, we could do it, but it won't be cheap or easy, Gav. The repair costs exceed <laughs> exceed to after negotiating tasks for her. Return payment. payment. In the meantime, they will give you a full, complete operational ship. Uh, communications room. Of course, Captain! <laughs> okay, I'll stop. The, the transmission bay in the next district. I can show you the way. The large space stations have a transmission system of highly superior than the normal ships, allowing for cross-sector communications. Nice. You walk into the station until reaching a transmission bay with two guards. After you identify yourself, they allow you to pass. Blah, 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 blah. Right. Uh, perform the transmission. Yep. So this is a little bit... Yeah, this is a nice sort of... Uh, yeah, two days ago. Yes, sir. We ran to probes. Blah, 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 blah. And... Uh, ambushed by an assault fleet. There we had left them behind. Uh, we had left them behind. We arrived in the sector with an interceptor. Trying to finish off the enemy ships. Two of my crew members lost their lives. So the Genesis was practically destroyed. Sorry, I think I will give them the setting off they deserve. What is the current state of the Genesis? Our ship is damaged. Uh, currently, it is an operative. Blah, 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 blah. Admiral Shell. Um, as one of the most experienced captains of the Republic, your presence is requested as the head escort to reception of our guest, every governing body of the universe. Yeah, so basically, the Republic is currently not the Republic we think of, so let's throw that one out there. Um, basically, the story goes that the Republic is uh, having some kind of meeting. Um, and apparently... Yeah, so this Republic should seems is just having some kind of peace conference sort of style, which is kind of interesting. Don't worry, Aberon. We'll arrive before the visit starts. And, uh, sure. So now I assume we go to the commercial... Yeah, we go. Commercial district and accept the contract of Antonio's freighter. Uh, commercial are always best place to stock up on provisions. There, on, in them, you'll be able to find bounty contract supply shops. Blah, 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 blah. Right, so there's a bounty that I need to have a look at. I can't find it. Okay, well, the good news is that our ship is 100% repaired. Uh, oh, nice. We can actually have a, a prison butter. Um, let us have Anterior's freighter. In order to get the ship, we need an ion reactor. This will usually be a problem, but we need the materials. Uh, we haven't heard a ship in Pulsar repair ship in a couple of days. Nice. So, another cool thing is that we actually have a whole bunch of things already involved her, which is pretty dope. We've got some... Heavy lasers, cannon of the Republic, uh, Mark II. Um, we have a few credits, which is pretty nice. Grenade launcher, 
fragmentation grenade bulletproof vest. And we'll just accept the contract. Flak Mark 1. Shield generator Mark 1. So, I'm going to assume... Yeah, so what, as you can see, we have our different sort of um, vision, uh, versions of the ship, which is pretty dope. Uh, hull damage twice on that. So, what, should we... Can I put this on? No, I didn't think so I could. Oh, that's cool. It's doesn't really... Oh, you can actually get a little view thing of it as well. Light guided missile launcher. Um, nuclear missile launcher. I love that. Uh, light plasma cannon. Light cannon of the Republic. Light plasma cannon. So I assume we could have cannon of the Republic. Which is a version Mark II. And that could, truth be told, be better. Yeah, so we could probably get two of the cannon of the Republics. Because I'm thinking... Kaching. Yes. Oh, we only get one. That's fine. And... Um, hacking drone, GG. So you can see there's a lot of different kinds of uh, versions. Shield generator? Uh, truth be told, we could probably do with one of these uh, shield generators. Right, cool. So, let's have a look at our systems. Mine launcher, I don't think we need, but what we could do with is a shield generator, because I do not trust myself. Oh, that's cool. You get to see the side on the ship as well. And we'll replace one of the light cannon of the Republic with the cannon of the Republic Mark II. Wait, what? Am I moving it with my mouse? Oh, that's so cool! A little broken, but cool! That's so nifty! Oh, that's cool! Anyway, uh, so, yeah. System that works. I assume there are other things. Yeah, yep. Right, okay, so, now that we've done that, I assume we can just back off. Abandon the station. Sure. Uh, right, exit the station, please. Oh, hello. We've got a different kind of ship. Everyone to their posts. We must find that missing freighter. Captain, do you think it could have been an attack? It's strange. If it had been an attack, the security systems would have asked for a security detail from the station, and they would have come to its aid. They could have used a signal inhibitor to cut communications. The asteroid cluster where the ship was seen doesn't correspond to any commercial route. Decree M22, under Republic law, restricts commercial routes in order to guarantee the safety of its freighters. This behavior would be a direct violation of Organic Space Law 412, Section 2, Slash 08. At no point did people have the decency to interrupt her. Right, so, I have to admit, this is a pretty neat looking ship. Whilst we get an R-ship sorted, I like this. Right, there's the freighter, thankfully very close to its other objective. Right, in about 20 kilometers, I think I'll probably go and stop. Whoa, okay, Johnny Jim. This ship looks very nice, though. Arguably, I mean, it's a lot smaller, but it looks good. Also, it looks like it detaches the upper ship. Yeah, it looks like the ship, there's like two ships it um, attaches slash detaches to, which is nice. I like this. It's actually pretty dope. I'm not gonna lie. This is really awesome. Again, like, this game has just. Oh, I like We've it. arrived at the freighter's last known coordinates, Captain. There doesn't appear to be anything here. Mai, can you scan the area? I detect irregular radiation readings coming from the middle of the cluster. Let's oh, take a yeah. look. I get the feeling that our dear old friends in the Refrator is probably no longer alive, if anything. I just love looking around at this little ship stuff. He's cool. He is very cool. Right, so... Let's have a look-see. Oh, behind the asteroid. Captain, we found the source of the radiation. We should proceed to scan. Affirmative. Mai, prepare the analysis module. Preparing right. the scan system. So we're basically looking at this particular vessel. Boink. 
Scan complete, Captain. It's a fragment of the freighter's calibration reticle. I am 98% positive that the damage and radiation emissions confirm a plasma cannon attack. This looks like the result of an attack. Mai, can you follow the radiation signature? Comparing samples. Similar readings found in nearby coordinates. Establishing route. Okay, fair enough. I like how it's like, I think, you know, like it, I can ascertain with a 99 point whatever percentage that it is a uh, attack. And then the captain's like, I think this is an attack. It's like, at this point, you kind of wish the robot would be a little bit more sassy and go, gee, it's not like I just told you that. Or something stupid. And... Boom! Not into the asteroid field. See, I like how none of the crew are going, Captain, we're in an asteroid field. Could you please not use the giant slingshot ability when we're in a goddamn asteroid field? Kind of makes us a bit nervous, you know? Uh, and stop it. Oh dear, it looks like our ships are running a little low on uh, health there. Captain, we're being hailed. Shall we accept the call? Affirmative. Right, there we Ex Cleo. Go. Commander of the Starship Insurrection of the Pirate Fleet here. Gar. I order your immediate retreat. This frigate is now under our control. Arg. Surrender, or we'll open fire. Arg. This is the captain of the warship Genesis of the Interstellar Republic. I demand you halt your activities immediately. Captain Scott? Of the warship Scott. Genesis? Da, 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 da. In that hunk of chunk? <laughs> You asked for it, crew. <laughs> she doesn't take too kindly to a laugher. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. I'm not gonna lie, that is actually quite funny. <laughs> like voice acting is a little bit, eh. but you know it's fine. We'll. Oh, uh, uh. Let's get her to fall on the shields. Is that EMP drive? Oh, he's gone. Yeah, boy. Right, let's quickly spin her around. Engage. Let's increase our intensify for our firepower. Because we got slightly bigger DACA. Right, get the missile launched. I like how nuclear missiles are completely okay now. Like, everyone's probably gotten over the fact that nuclear missiles are okay. <laughs> Never will that become old. Never is that coming to become goal, I'm not gonna lie. Right, let's try and increase our... So it looks like the closer you get to a ship to shoot at, the more damage it does. And each particular ship has its own little kinky little weak point. Even with shields on. Gone. Who are, mate? <laughs> My cells are being atomized. This is not a good day to be a space pirate. Arg. Captain. The ship's remains correspond to the Frider we've been searching for. Frider? We have to look for survivors. Wait, 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 wait. And wait, confirm wait. the shipment was, in fact, stolen. I'm sorry, I can't... Frider. Preparing to board. I'm sorry, Frider. Who the fuck says Frider? <clears throat> no, I'm being serious. This game is awesome, but... Really? <laughs> Frider? You know... What? <laughs> okay. Can I report someone saying Friter as a bug? Because <laughs> no normal person would say Fright. <laughs> I'm sorry. I do like this game. Do not get me wrong. I just... Wow. Okay. Oh, okay. So here we go. Another sort of D&D &D moment. So, uh... We went to what's left of the Friter as the bay doors close behind you. You find with remains of what used to be an enormous commercial Friter, uh... As you can see, all sorts of supplies and objects on the floor, accompanied by what was once their crew. Ah, um, possible to. Okay, you know what? Let's do the time warp again. No, or go to the right. Your crew advance slowly um, further into the ship if you get the feeling that you are not alone. Oh dear. Uh, this time we will go to the right again! Uh, uh, circles, uh, the door opens. Uh, yeah, let's enter. Why not? Uh, lights on, you see a uh, raw protonite shipment, rows of um, rows, uh, intruders are like, oh dear, um, opening, oh dear, uh, we are the crew of the Genesis Republic, uh-uh, 
Ooh, so um, <clears throat> we have the opportunity to roll. Okay, so the 82 seconds begins to speak again. Opening suspended. Validating credentials. They are their own intruders. Okay, I, am, I demand to speak with the captain. So our charisma, level 7. Uh, okay, this could be a problem. So this is the uh, charisma thing. So I now need to roll a 7 or more. Uh, to try and get this. Will I win? I don't. I really don't. Uh, no time to speak with the intruders. Establishing analysis probably... Oh, dear. Uh, bay doors open. Hold on to what's left. Vacuum pulls forcing towards them. The weakest of your trues. Uh, oh, boy. Um, if you open the, bo the doors, the shipment will be lost. Anchor to, oh boy. Uh, okay, we are intruders. Oh yeah, the Canadian intruder probably. Oh god damn it! I probably should have done that to start with. As any Amber Zaman's logical error, the base thoughts you were now out of danger. Remind me to never upset all my. A uh, load of chest of engineers through terminals. Study it later. So yeah, you can go see if you can. Let's go back up. to the station to inform Susan. So we. What kind of pirates assault a protonite freighter just to abandon it? Okay, there you go. X players' weapons do not correspond to the radiation we've been following. Captain, the coded data seems to follow the same pattern obtained in the slaver's base. Our team can't undertake an investigation. We haven't found enough matches. Woo! By the way. She said it wrong. It's frighters. <laughs> I'm never going to get over that. <laughs> so there you go. So there's a bit of a oops moment uh, from the roll dice thing. So this I like a lot. I have to admit, this is a nice mechanic that I've never... What the bloody hell? Oh, it's because there was an object in the way. A tiny little asteroid. Okay. Let's try that again, shall we? Oh! So, yeah, um, I like this as an option um, to have when it comes to doing stuff like this because it kind of gives you that option. It kind of gives you that free flowing ability. And I, I like that as a sort of a, as a. In sci fi games, you don't often get the opportunity to do that. Right, let's slow it down a bit so I can have an opportunity to. Ah, there we go. So, yeah, this is actually pretty cool. Right, so unfortunately a couple of our crew members did suffer a bit of a wound. Whoops. Um, but I guess that's fine, right? Right? Eh? Right, cool. Comms Chief, request permission to dock. Station Control Tower here. Dock at the assigned bay. Over. Yeah, I Receiving mean... Receiving coordinates. <laughs> Establishing communication. Docking protocol prepared. Like, the thing is, this is, of course, a, uh, this is early access, or I say early access, this is, um, a demo before game's even released. The voice acting is, okay, you know, it's not perfect under any means, but it's fine. You know, it does the job it needs to do, and truth be told, I'm glad they focused on getting the gameplay right, then getting the voice acting right, because now, I love the concept of frighters. Ah, oh, look, there's my ship! That's upside down. Don't move, and we're good. Yay! And my ship docks perfectly into port. I like this as a docking ability. I was a bit worried I'd suck at docking. Docking complete. Shutting down engines. Opening floodgates. Right, so we can either go docks or we can go commercial zone. So I need to go to the docks. Right, so uh, after arriving, we return. If you have anything, expectantly waiting for an answer. Um, we found the freighter. There weren't any survivors. Shocked by the news. After a few seconds, recovers. Uh, yes, we were able to recover the cargo. Uh, engineers could help us process the patch mine. Of course. Ion reactor. Sure thing. You're going to make me bite now, aren't you? Uh, I've obtained my first blueprint. And with the best specified materials you can need... You can uh, find a different ship to work on. Crew engineering workshop. We are good. Better, better. Salvage workshop allows weapons to destroy weapons and obtain the resources. Resources. Um, 
Sick bays. I'm, I'm gonna need that. I'll be honest with you. Um, <laughs> so, uh, right. Departments. Yes. So sick bay. Who is injured? You. Yes. Let's have you healed. Um, that's that's really awesome. Scrapping. Okay. So let's uh, let's scrap this raw uh, protonite. And engineering workshop wise, let us build a. With an attempt for ion reactor. Yes. There we go. So, um. Oh, in research lab, let's research. Can I get something that does better shields? A mine launcher or a mine launcher too? Oh no, superior quality. Uh, no, let's not. Okay, so how do we. Okay, build, heal. Boom. Oh, this one takes a while. This is taking a long, long while. So this is the thing... Okay, so the way that your uh, crew member systems work... Uh, basically... Oh, vacancy. Lol. Um, so as you can see, you get the different sort of uh, character traits. You can upgrade in points. I don't know what you can do with these particular factors. But what you can do is... <laughs> reduce the reload time. Shoots faster. Light weapons lose damage, uh, but do less damage. Game more experience. So, what your particular crews can do <clears throat> will allow you to earn benefits of certain things. So, for example, this particular thing has uh, can either give you, I believe, yeah, it's focusing on your weapons crew. Then I assume these guys represent your people on the ship's team team lab. Okay. Um, yep. Yeah. Okay. Apparently, this man's so ugly the game doesn't even want to show his face. That's fine. Uh, but he's okay with this guy. That's good to know. So this guy is, you know, about your, I assume, yeah, so scientists who keep researching stuff, Ting Ting Lang and Wanda Diaz, um, okay, games, whatever you want. Um, basically you can have the ability to scrap various bits of devices, and it's all kind of cool. And you basically, as you level through the game, I would assume you get to improve your screw, your crew skills and get all your special things going along. Also, you can hire crews, which is actually pretty dope. So now I need to go to the department screen again. And is it complete? Oh, it's complete, but it's taking a very long time. Right, so now we have to decide what we want. Uh, ion reactor closely. Excellent job. We have everything need to finish the repairs. Uh, speak with me when you are ready to go. Okay, so what's this? Pulse generator. You know what? We don't need a pulse generator because... Where did my, where did, where did my thing go? Mine launcher, mine launcher. Oh, okay, so apparently it doesn't count. Uh, light guided missile, sniper rifle. I'm going to scrap slash sell a station. I'm going to sell. Can I sell this? Oh, nice! You can like do that. Okay, fragmentation grenades. Extra credits. Confirm sale. And I got four bulletproof vests. Yeah, man. Uh, probably going to get rid of the mine launchers because I don't like mines. In space, they seem silly. Uh, let's sell our light cannon of the Republic because I think we will need it. We'll keep our, mi our guided missile thing going. So we've got 2,900 credits. Uh, guided missile launcher. Shotgun. I like the sound of that. Gatling Re of the Republic. I like that name. That's a very awesome name. Gatling of the Republic. It's not super accurate. I mean, neither is this, but it does probably a whammo of damage, which is nice. Uh, what are you, my dear friend? Ion Reactor Mark II. If I'm not mistaken, that's the thing we need to have anyway. So let's uh, have you and uh, start going with you. Oh, yes, repair um, just in case. So, let's go to the commercial zone again. How are my crew members doing? 87%. Right. Oh. So, I think this will be a good point in which we can wrap things up for this preview episode. But, I think I'll do a two-parter like I did with the Old World Blues East Coast mod. So, I will see you guys in the next episode, whereupon I will do this again. And we're going to have lots of fun as I try and figure out how to play this game in a slightly more effective manner. So I'll see you then. This is Mr. Yeager, signing out.